right, mom and dad? 40 years is a long time. Happy 40th anniversary. You guys are inspiring and I hope I can do that someday with my future wife. Congrats, let's party. And here's the 40 more. Happy 40th anniversary, guys. Um, can't believe uh, it's been 40 years. Um, uh, I couldn't think of any two other people to lead my marriage with a better example other than you two. So we love you very much. Happy 40th. Love you. Favorita, querida Robin, cuñada Robin. Les quiero dar las gracias por hacerles un ejemplo de cómo un matrimonio debe de ser. Felicidades, besos y abrazos, Jackie. So, um, we actually started a tradition that night. Um, every time one of our kids gets married, we also um, toast each other. Uh, it's become a tradition. We have a few kids to go still, Ryan. Thanks everybody for coming. Happy anniversary. I love you. Listen, all you people mean so much to us. That's why we did this. And we're glad you can celebrate with us. Thank you. Don't know where to start other than I was the unfortunate or fortunate one to introduce Mike and Robin. Robin and I have known each other since elementary school. Met Mike in high school playing football. Introduced them and it was downhill from there. A couple times during their life a story that I'll tell is Bill Girls and I was living in an apartment. Mike came to us said hey I need to move out. Robin told me I'm a mama's boy and it's time for me to grow up, otherwise I don't want to date you anymore. Guess what? We got a house together. So that's, that's the start of the whole thing years and years ago. I am very fortunate because Mike and I have stayed close. Um, we work together, we play together, and our kids have grown together. So very thankful and congratulations. 40 years. Hey, Mike and Robin. Uh, so 40 years ago, I put my brown and white tux on as part of your wedding party. I was uh, 17 years old, just graduated high school. Uh, you guys were actually big role models to me back then. So I look forward now about 40 years later and I look at the lives you guys have created, um, family you guys have raised. You have a lot to be proud of and a lot to be thankful for over those 40 years. So uh, happy anniversary and uh, here's to me. I remember uh, one of my first measure memories of Mike and Robin were the day that Robin left a sign on our house in, Gre in Greenbrook saying, Robin with an I. I never thought that that would have turned into a 40 year marriage, but, but here we are. So congratulations, uh, every step of the way, we're with you guys from here and for the next 40. Love you both, congratulations, happy 40th. Mike and Robin, well, it's been 40 years together and for all the better. Of course, there are always ups and downs, but never once with any frowns. So let's look back over the last 40 years and reminisce with some beers. 
They were high school sweethearts who were meant to be. They were married in just their 20s. Finished college, they were ready to start a family. Then along came Sean, their first baby. With a tender heart, they were off to a great start. Then along came little Ryan, who was always crying and keeping them on their toes, but that's how life goes. They knew they had their sweet family of four, their main core. There was that one white rose, but you know how that story goes. Starting their own business and working at the doctor's office, their life they had built was pretty flawless. There were losses along the way of loved ones they held dear, but they held each other tight and persevered. And even though they were both busy, they built memories that included Mammoth, the River, Canada, and Florida's Disney. Those two even took up golf, skiing, fly fishing, biking, surfing, and more. Yeah, there were days they were sore. Mike and Robin thought they had done it all until they got that one call. Grandparents they would now be to Spencer, then Slater, and finally Sadie. With new friends, family, and adventures coming their way, there's nothing more they could want, you would say. And that's been the evolution you see of the Johnson family tree. So here's to 40 years of love and laughter and tears. Let's bring on the beers. We love you, Mike and Robin. We hope this is something you'd like. Love, SMJ. Hi, Mike and Robin. Happy anniversary, 40 years. Um, I wasn't expecting to do this, so I'm, please bear with me. Um, 40 years, wow, what an accomplishment. Um, you've been a great mo role model for all of us. And here, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> um, you've been a great role model for all of us. Um, you have a beautiful family. Um, your home, uh, you have so much pride in everything that you guys have. And it's just a beautiful life that you guys have. And um, as your family's growing, um, it'll even get better. So I wish you 40 more. Um, oh God, that would be awful, wouldn't it? <laughs> 40 more years. Um, anyways, happy anniversary. I love you guys. And um, we're going to have a great time tonight. Bye-bye. Happy anniversary, Robin and Mike. It's hard to believe it's been 40 years. I've been asked to tell you some funny things about your wedding and after your wedding. So here are some of the memories I do remember. One is I had moved to Alabama and I had come back to spend time with Robin at her house. Uh, Robin was about to graduate from school and with her LPN and so we were getting ready for that plus the wedding and sadly her grandpa passed away in that time too so we had a funeral. But uh, getting ready for the wedding, which was I believe on a Friday, we had the rehearsal dinner and afterwards this crew of our motley crew of friends got together and we went to a restaurant, I think that had a bar. And so tequila, and we we're all about 20, 21 at this time. So tequila and worms were in this, bought these ugly bottles and so the, the, um, the guys decided that they would have a drinking contest. So it went on, and so the guys drank the tequila and ate the worms as we, the ladies, watched them do it. We really should have made some arrangements to make sure that all the guys got home safely because the best man ended up in jail. And I think Mike spent um, Friday trying to get his friend out of jail. So anyway, and so that was the adventure. So the wedding finally went off. The best man showed up sober. And after the wedding, we went to Robin and Mom, uh, Robin and Mo Robin's mom and dad's house, Mr. and Mrs. Boyce's house. And at that point, I think Billy Grills and Warren Taylor got the bright idea <clears throat> of calling the hotel where Mike and Robin were staying. I don't remember how they knew, but they knew where they were staying. So they decided to call. And remember, this is a time when phones were on the wall and it was a rotary dial. And so we were all listening on the receiver to see if Mike or Robin would answer the phone. 
I kind of thought it was stupid, but anyway, we did it. And so the guys called and Mike answered the phone. And so they were like, the question of the day was, what are you doing? And Mike was honest. He said, I'm watching TV and Robin's in the shower. So, uh, of course, you know, we giggled and we hung up. I think they must have called Mike and Robin about three times just to see, what are you doing? The fourth time they called, the phone was busy. So the honeymoon had begun. And uh, Robin and Mike, blessings to you both. Happy 40th anniversary. It's been a joy and a pleasure to be your friend for this long. When marriage is sometimes throw away, you two have made it a great example to your family and to your friends that while the wedding is great, it's the living together that makes it, that gets difficult and you've handled it well. So blessing to you. May we be around again for another 40 years. Hey, 101 might be the new 70. Who knows? Love to you both. Bye. Hey Mike and Robin, I'm so excited for your party. Obviously had to go all out with the dreads and the theme. So just want to say congratulations on 40 years and cheers to 40 more. I've known Robin since elementary school, um, met Mike in high school. I wish them both lots of luck and um, continued happiness in their next 40 years. Lots of time's gone by, so I'm just very happy for both of them. Um, love you guys. Mike and Robin, first of all, congratulations on 40 wonderful years. I want to start with a song that reminds me of you two every time I hear it. Mike, I think this will hit home with you. It goes back to our house on Catfish. In fact, I might sing for you guys. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. All right. That's enough, of, that's enough of my singing, Mike. Hey, um, first of all, I, I go back to, uh, gosh, Robin, we were in seventh grade, Harper Elementary. We get to high school, and you're the cheerleader making the signs for our, our pregame. Never forget it. Always so happy and full of energy. Mike, you taught me that six inch step with, with Coach Cook uh, and how to deliver the forearm. Holy smokes. And then, sorry buddy, I passed you right up. Um, then our catfish experience, great roommate, great times. Montgomery Ward, you'd put that little tie on every day. Uh, you had the, the Firebird, the Orange Firebird, and then you, you got the motorcycle and Jeff Kelly had to drive it home for you. Uh, we've appreciated your friendship, uh, your generosity uh, to our family has been second to none. All the great vacations at Huntington, um, all the laughs we've had, the, the trip to Idaho where you bonded with Steve, bless his heart, he passed away, um, the great fishing. And uh, more than anything, just the, the friendship and the bond we've, we've created with our family. So congratulations, uh, great night to you guys, and looking forward to celebrating with you.